are there still mysterious beings still living in the ancient labyrinth of Crete in Greece? Well, antiquity says that we had the Minotaur living there, and Theseus, a prince of Athens, had done away with him. Now, in the past we've shown that the labyrinth of Crete has been found, and in fact it was mapped. In addition, it's been claimed that somewhere in there are genetic laboratories from ancient times. In the labyrinth of the Minotaur in Crete, we know that he was the top, he was hybrid being, top half being a bull, the bottom half being a man. So beings still live there, some believe, and are home to spirits or entities. Now, you may laugh, but there are, uh, these things are taught by Americans and Russians. I don't write names for reasons that are understood, the article says. The American professor is a member of the American Academy of Ophthalmology and the International Academy of Sciences. He has developed more than 80 brand new ways of plastic surgery, and he's the author of over 300 scientific researchers, has patents in Russia, US, Germany, France, Italy, and Switzerland, and his inventions are revolutionary for regenerative surgeries. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So that is for the American uh, professor of American Academy of Ophthalmology. Now, the mission of Russian science, scientists also entered the labyrinth of Crete, this ancient construction, underground, of course. They both say that this labyrinth is an abode of various mysterious spirits or entities, and as soon as they enter, they feel dizzy, nauseous, and weak, which intensifies inside the wards of the labyrinth. Digital cameras often photographed balls, quote-unquote, that attacked them, forcing them to have negative emotions. There's some kind of white ball plasma, I guess. And uh, he says here in my comments, Plato of the ancient Greeks says that we Greeks have from the higher power a little divine fire in the soul, and it is in the soul because the divine fire would burn us. Other people have much less sulfur fire, that is, uh, the Atlanteans, or none at all, there are people who have cold blood like reptiles, and according to Lavoisier's law, you do not lose anything in nature, it just changes form. The water evaporates, it disappears, but it's not lost, it becomes clouds, for example. This law also applies to the soul. With death, it changes form, leaving the body, and videos are currently shown on this. In the past, Swedish doctors put their people who were uh, about to pass on precision scales and they found that after death they lost a little weight, presumably the soul. These few, to complete what the great American and Russian scientists say, that in the labyrinth they are attacked by these bright balls that are photographed by their special cameras. Now above this labyrinth where with the scientists of a member of the Russian team peering through the opening. And this is by the Adrastika, a Greek article I've translated for you. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.